my friends. Welcome back to Neptunia. You action unleashed. As uh, last time, we were demolished by <laughs> the uh, next gen mech. So now we got to figure out ways to um, gain new moves and to take out next gen mech. But um, we're going to do different uh, quests first, as we now have character set quests, which means I can only use certain characters per quest. And we're going to start off with, um, not that one. <laughs> I decided not to. Uh, we're going to start off with Blonde and Vert. I don't know why. Why, yes. <laughs> Let us go. Please try to comprehend the information presented. So we're going to do the um, these quests here. Um, the ones that you do in, I believe, Valentina's Path is the one that advanced the story, so... I will show you the power of Leanbox's CPU. The next dimension is ready for you. We're trapped in this little bitty circle, so we have to fight all the enemies here. Take this! Yeah. Take this! Take this! We have to make sure that, um... Here I go! Yeah! Here I go! Show me your skills! I got an item! Yeah! Usually, <laughs> even though the the U video, I mean, I know that I know that the U series isn't my most watched one, but I, I like to. Well, I do like this game a whole lot, and I can't wait for the blonde game to come out, which may not be until like maybe next year. But <laughs> but, th th but this game right here is pretty fun. If you're a fan of, ne of Neptunia, definitely pick one of these up if you have a Vita or better yet a PlayStation TV I don't know why, I don't know why, why people hate on that thing so much Here I go. that's how I've gotten all my stuff out of it all the, most of the videos that I got Here I go. Rebirth 3 Rebirth 2 and this Here I go. that's where all this came from this is PlayStation TV Here I go. Being, able to, being able to play Vita games on your big screen TV using a PS3 controller What's better? Well, if it made compatible with all Vita games, then yeah. Like <laughs> Uncharted. I love Uncharted. How fulfilling! But um, here I go. I do want to share because I did have a, a message that was sent to me um, that asked me point blank why. I love the net. Well, before I do that, let me let me get blonde in here. The rest is up to you. It blatantly asked me, why do I love the Neptunia game so much? And I, I know I mentioned this in a video before, but I didn't really have that many subscribers back then as I did when I mentioned it. So that many of you may not, many of you may not know this story. And if those of you who do, I apologize, but you're going to hear it again. Um, I have been gaming for, not, not to give away my age, I have been gaming for over, for a little over 20 years. And it was basically implanted in my skull, in my psyche, that, you know, gaming is awesome. I love, you know, gaming is a fun pastime to have. And... I grew up with the original Nintendo, the NES, you know, with the original Mario games and stuff like that, and that was and that was pretty sweet. I actually loved, you know, I, that's when I fell in love with gaming. And uh, you know, as time went on, you know, you had all these systems come out, like like the PlayStation, uh, PS2, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, all, all you know, stuff like that, you know, and. 
gaming back then was awesome. It was still good. Like the Super Nintendo, in my opinion, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis era is probably the best era ever when it comes to games. Because uh, that's when things, that's when people were not afraid to try out new ideas. And, you know, to literally, like, oh, I got an idea. Well, it's cool. Let's just try to make it to a game, you know? And I'm pretty sure people who have heard this a lot, and especially if you watch really YouTube people, which I do, um, that gaming nowadays has gotten to where it's. The boss has spawned. Be prepared for anything. Oh, shit! Kind of scared me. Um, but gaming nowadays has gotten to where it's. Almost kind of stale. You're seeing a lot of things basically be copies of something else. Um, everything's trying to get that quote-unquote Call of Duty money. See a quick burp and take him out. Focus on this. Oh shit. Focus on this whale first, because that'll give me three XP. But, um, I've always been a big fan of RPGs and such, but I started to branch out and play other games, and I started playing games like Call of Duty and stuff like that, and it got to a point to where I just got really bored with games because nothing was different, nothing was trying to... You know, there was no games that you know that ha had uh, rich and deep characters. There was only games that. I offer this victory to all my friends. All of your online friends. <laughs> the result is obvious, but I enjoy the praise all the same. Level up. Seems I've leveled up. Now loading. I believe, I believe the story after this, though. I... That about does it. The monsters are getting stronger. However, you lending a hand was quite the surprise. I thought you'd still be holed up playing games. I must ask that you refrain from giving me such an image. I go out often to arcades and butler cafes. Oh, God. It is the journey, not the destination, that matters, no? Perhaps Leanbox can have a few Loe game titles as thanks? That's not happening. Our fan bases are too different. Ask Noir for a few multi platform titles instead. Burn! <laughs> How unfortunate. I am curious, however. As to why you are going around and hunting monsters in such a secretive manner. I can't have Rom and Ram take part in these dangerous quests. They'd never listen, so this is my solution. If you ask me, I believe you are treating those two as much younger children than they actually are. Older children are still children. I have to protect them while they're growing and maturing. In that case, Someone should be protecting you while you grow and mature, Blanc. What a cute old child. Vert, do you know what line you just crossed? Don't you dare tussle my hair like I'm a damn kid. Just because you're bigger doesn't mean I'm a child. Oh, you are walking right into this one. Your breasts are young, too. Absent, even. Just like a child. Then perhaps our young CPU candidates are not to be treated as children anymore, either. It's a bad one, but fine. I see your point. I'll put more faith in them. I didn't expect you to set me up like that when you don't have any little sisters of your own. Another incorrect assumption. I can do so precisely because I do not have my own little sister. Now loading. Yeah, you can watch right into that one, blonde. 
but um, let's pick another quest here, and then we will continue with story time. Not that one. Yep. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do the Ram and Ram one. Yes. Yay! 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 Let's go. Read the instructions. But um, I don't lost track where I was. Games. I mean, yeah, I'm an RPG guy. I love RPGs, but I got to where I like to play a lot of, a lot of other games, too. I mean, I've actually... Well, that, that's part of the... I'll do my best. Um, I'm a CPU, too. The next dimension is awesome! That one looks mean. I don't see it. Awesome! That one looks mean. Oh, the cat? Yeah, cats are mean. <laughs> but, um... Back in, what do you say? What do you say? I got bored with games because games to me were almost the exact same. I had hit what I refer to, you know, I've that a lot of people with this, as what I like to call the the gaming. It's kind of like imagine you're an, imagine you're a writer and you hit writer's, you know, something that they call writer's block, where you just don't have any passion in what you're doing and you're having a hard time trying to figure out stuff. That's kind of what I hit with gaming. It was more like the gaming, I call it the gaming wall. And I say that because you'll see in a minute. But um, Basically, I grew bored with gaming. Cause I, was, I was like, man, this is, this was, you know, this is all the same stuff. Nothing is really, nothing is really standing out. And, uh, it, it, and it's hard, especially because the way gaming is nowadays, that it's so expensive to actually make games. A lot of companies aren't willing to, aren't willing to uh, take chances anymore, and that's sad. Uh, so, are you really okay? so how is she losing clothes? And I'm not taking. Any, oh, I am taking damage now. So, because of that, you know, a lot of gamers. Gamers. A lot of companies nowadays who make games are not really taking any chances, and that's really sad. Um, I mean, there's not a lot, not, like, in my opinion, like, like, like the company that takes the most chances right now <sighs> that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, even though I put them down a lot, is Nintendo. I mean, the Splatoon game was a great idea, but this idea factory right here with this game was also a good idea. Something different. Um, the idea factory is trying to, you know, do other games too. I mean, I like, but they, they, they stick with RPGs and they do a really good job of them. But, um, yeah, I, I, I guess he sees the exit, but I, I kind of want to do more story time. But, Anyway, um, back in 2012, I was pretty much at the point where I was almost through with gaming. Uh, I remember Mass Effect 3 came out in 2012. I want to say it did. Mass Effect 3 came out in 2012, and that was the one game I was really looking forward to. Now, keep in mind, I had not discovered Neptunia yet. Um, that was one of the games that I was really looking forward to. I was so hyped for it. All people that I'm friends with, uh, that I am friends with, um, here where I live, was really hyped for it as well. And I bought that on day one, so, um, the fact that, and, uh, you know, everybody knows the controversy about the Mass Effect 3 ending. I am... I don't want to turn this into a, into a Mass Effect video, but um, I was one of the very many who was disappointed with the ending of Mass Effect 3, and that almost pushed me to try to quit gaming altogether. Believe that, believe that as you will, but um, games that I used to even love due to this gaming wall thing, not only did I lose passion for it, but games I used to, I could go in and pl put, you know, put in the system whatever just play. You know, and enjoy like Mario 3 or Final Fantasy 7 games, games like that. I couldn't play anymore. I, I just, I play for like a five minutes and I'd be like, yeah, I'm done, I'm bored. I mean, it, you know, I wanted something fresh, I wanted something new. And I was just about to give up on games. 
it got so bad to where I was actually like buying games huh? Finished already? at one point just to see if I could find something that would actually interest me and bring my interest back into gaming. And I remember back in was it? Uh, it was actually early 2013. Um, I was um, with a friend of mine, Dark Rocks Gaming Redneck. Um, we went out and we um, went to um, a GameStop. And I remember telling him, I was like, dude, I'm just about, I'm through, you know, I remember telling him, I was like, dude, I'm almost through with gaming, I, you know, and, you know, I think maybe I should just, you know, quit gaming altogether and just focus on other things. But I found this game that I, I never found myself. Is this the uh, exit? Okay. <laughs> well, technically, that's needed just to keep running forward. I was crazy. Yay. <laughs> I but I did that mainly so I could just level up the characters a little bit. Now loading. I believe there's a advantage to this too. I believe there's events that add to every single one of these. I spy with my little eye. Is she on a quest? She's doing stuff in secret! And that means she's being... Uh... Pitches. I bet those writers are here too! Sapitches? <laughs> oh, I can't see from here! Come on, let's sneak closer! This one isn't bad, but this one is too dangerous. So I'll take care of it myself. Although Rome and Ram have grown pretty strong. Maybe they can handle it just fine. She's talking about us. Huh? Yeah, but why? I think she's doing all the scary quests so we don't have to. What? So she's been busy because of us or something? Uh-huh. Game industry has lots of monsters right now, so it's been keeping her busy. It's so dumb that she thinks it's okay to be busy for a reason like that. I'm gonna go yell at her. Hey, blonde! You big dummy! What are you doing here? Ram, wrong. I could ask you the same thing. We wanted to help. You looked so busy. Why are you doing quests in secret? You could have rubbed it in our faces or something! Are you busy? Because of us? No, this isn't because of you at all. I'm doing this for you. One of my greatest joys in life is seeing you two accomplish wonderful things. That's why I'm getting rid of the quests that don't match your skill sets. Thank you, Vlad. Sorry, I guess. I thought you didn't want to play with us anymore, so you were staying busy as your excuse. No reason to apologize. I'm doing this of my own accord. But, Blon, you're wrong about one thing. We want to hang out with you more, even if it's scary. I want to play with you, Blon. Huh, I see. All right, maybe the time has come. You're both strong enough already. I don't need to do this anymore. Heck yeah! We're so strong, we can beat any quest in the world! Leave everything to us, okay? I'm strong too! I have Ram and Blonde with me! Come on, let's go home. We're long overdue for a good session of playing and reading. Yay! Playing with Blonde rocks my socks! Hurry, hurry! I have a stack of picture books taller than me for you to read to me, Blonde! Now loading! That was very heartwarming. But, um... Let's see, next quest. Not to fight a labyrinth, because that's... Let's see, let's do this yes. one. Yeah, last station only! Yep. <laughs> 
Let's move. Isn't this common sense? Anyway, back to my story. Uh, <laughs> back in early 2013, me and my friend Dark Garth went to this GameStop. I told him, told him, dude, I'm about ready to quit gaming and stuff like that. Keep your guard up. Let's move. And uh, I found. I was looking through PS3 titles. I mean, I was, I'm a PlayStation guy through and through, even though I have all these other systems here. PlayStation is my number one gaming uh, system. And I found this little game. It was pre owned called Hyper Dimension Neptunia. And I was looking at it and I was like, you know, I've never actually played a game like, like, like this before. You know, most of the. Found something good. I am. I was one of those guys that, and then there's a lot of them uh, in the gaming world nowadays. I was like one of those guys who I was like, I was, real, you know, real hyped on the third party. I mean, not, not, not third party, but real hyped on the AAA titles. You know, I was like, some of these games, yeah, they look okay, but I mean, I mean, they're not made by the big developers, so you know, they're not really worth it. But I decided. But I was so stuck in a rut that I was looking for basically almost anything to to break my to break the wall down, so to speak. So, funny thing, I also found um, I found the first game, I kind of mentioned Neptunia, the first title on the PS3 pre-owned. I picked that one up, and in the same day at the same store, I found I kind of mentioned Neptunia Mark II. Brand new for thirty dollars. So I bought part one and part two of the original trilogy on the same day. I know that sounds stupid, but I did it. That's that's how much of in a rut I was. I was that desperate looking for something to pull me out. And needless to say, I mean, everybody knows that the, the first Neptune game was not that great. Um, the one made it to 2011. Good. Up to you now. It was not that great. Um, it was very clunky. Um, you know, it was, it was very, very clunky, and with the, you know, it, it, you, you would have to, you have to play Rebirth one and then compare it to the original. You'll see that there's a lot of differences in that game. Or better yet, compare, uh, play MK2. Play the original, then play MK2. You can see there's a whole lot of improvements made with, you know, within the time that game actually uh, produced. And you can see what, what I'm talking about. It's really hard to explain. What am I supposed to do here? I don't know, that. But. Um. I do know that. An item? The one thing that really struck me with Net the first Net Neptunia was all of the game references and the comedy. That, and the fact that, you know, the, that you had the characters. Can you imagine Noir with guns? <laughs> and she said dual revolvers. She's kind of like Dante. But, um... Not bad, Mimi, but you have a lot more to learn. We're gonna train when we get back. Locked up! <laughs> it said uni, but it said unit. <laughs> That's funny. But, um... Found an item. Switch! Access! So, I... Are the comedy and the characters really uh, opened my eyes to the Neptunia series, and it started to break down that wall. So I was like, dude, this game is so great. This is what this is something different, something new. This is what I've been wanting to experience for such a long time. And, but it, and so after that I went and played Mark II, like immediately. And I noticed that it was different. You know, it had some of the same characters, the story was different. But that didn't matter. <laughs> Decent workout. I'll tell you the rest of it. Um, after I'm through with the scene. No surprise. 
prizes here. I enjoy the praise, though. Good. I'll keep I'm getting better. stronger now. Now loading. And that's the end of that. Watch out! Oh, damn it! <laughs> H hang in there, Noir. Ow! I'm sorry, it's my fault you're dying. You were always so strict, but so kind to me. I won't forget that. Stop trying to kill me off, Uni. This hurts less than rubbing alcohol on a paper cut. But you shielded me from an attack! How could you do such a reckless thing all for me? Uni, stop! It's not even bleeding! But Noir, if you die, I'll... Uni, holy crap! Look at me! I am the complete opposite of hurt! <laughs> Uni's becoming a drama queen! No, no! Don't lie to me, Noir! You don't want me to live with the guilt of killing you. Your last gift. What? Shut up! Ugh! Uni, I'm about to get really pissed! You already are. Wait! Noir, you came back from the rain slick precipice of death! Thank goodness. Did you seriously think I was dying because I wasn't acting like a bitch? <gasps> That was good! Uh, yeah. I mean, I was the direct cause of you getting injured, so... Anyway, I'm sorry. Forget it. Sorry to have worried you. I was too focused on making myself stand out for the article. I swear that won't ever happen again. Enough already. It wasn't a big deal, and even if it was, I'm your older sister, so really, forget about it. There's no reason for us to stick around any longer. Let's head home. We'll never lose. We'll do all that we can for last station and game industry. Think you can keep up with me, Uni? I know I can. I'll follow you no matter what. Now loading. Did you think I was dying because I wasn't a being a bitch? <laughs> That should be Uni's line! Okay, so we're gonna do the final labyrinth with Gigi right. and Neptune. Yeah! <laughs> I can handle this. Just a second. But, um, anyway, back to my story. I saw, so I began playing Mark II, right? And the second game of the original trilogy. Which, do I recommend the original trilogy? Um. Hello, I'm Neb here, Planetune CPU candidate. It's nice to meet you. The next dimension is right for you. Of the. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I would probably recommend out of the out of the first two, probably Victory. Uh, mainly due to the fact that Victory. I mean, I'm playing Rebirth Three right now. Of course, you guys all know that, but. Yeah. 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 Oh, the Rebirth series are a lot more. Yeah. Mainly because of, I, I believe the, the, I mean, the games are more flushed out. Yeah. Better written, because it doesn't have, and I say America doing it. <laughs> so, um. Yeah. If I had to recommend, I would definitely say get the Rebirth series instead. But anyway, um, start playing Mark II, and um, you know, just fell in love with the characters, especially um, one that you're seeing on the screen right now, especially this one. And um, I'm pulling back. And uh, started playing that. And I, and I felt, felt something I never felt before. It was like I was so. I wanted to hurry and get. You know, I was, you know, I was working at the time, still working now. And I was like, never in my life have I experienced a game, you know, at least for a while anyway. But I wanted to hurry up, get off work, and then go back home and play it. 
just to figure out what happens next in the story and with the characters. That, to me, was something I have not felt in a long time. And plus, the comedy was still there. The gameplay was good. If you're hurt, let me know. <laughs> you know, the, the gameplay was good. Oh, shit. Take a break if you're injured. So, no, you had all of that. Please. And... Watch me. I think I'm going HD here. I'll handle it from here. So that to me was like just amazing. So it just the, the, with the characters and the comedy and all of that, it broke down the gaming wall to where I actually enjoyed gaming again. I actually was playing Mark II with just a smile on my face had to be like surgically removed. Job, Not technically, but you get the point. There's items I need to get, but I'm going to hold off, so I, I, do, I do kind of want to continue telling the story. Part of the story, anyway. Plus, I kind of want to see how long I can keep this going. But, um... So, Ace. But... I'm about to pull in Neptune and, and let, 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 let Neptune get a couple of uh, swings in, but... Golly, she just so... Just, she just keep doing this. I'm going all out! Time to get serious! But, um, I wasn't even doing Mark II yet, and then I went out and I bought Victory, because that's how much I grew and loved with the series. Now, How to Mention Neptunia basically made me start to love gaming again, back when I was a child. And ever since then, my pa it reignited my passion for it that I have. And that passion is still going strong to this day. Because, I mean, well, the reason that they're not to, but the, the main thing I'm going with here is that I, I was in a bubble of what games I wanted to keep playing. Because I thought those, you know, like sports games and, I mean, there was RPGs, for the shooters, those can get boring after a while. So I feel like, I, so, but reaching out of my comfort level, and finding something like this, which I never would have found if I didn't reach out, if I didn't reach, if I didn't say, okay, it's time, I, you know, want to find something new. How many enemies kind of defeat? So one thousand. But, uh, but anyway, um, with that, um, and that's the reason why I grew to love, I grew to love the Neptunia series so much because it reignited my passion for gaming. Plus. All the comedy and stuff, which I feel like games that, involve, that have comedy are missing nowadays. I mean, it's, I think that needs to, you know, it's not, not just a comedy aspect, but the characters in Neptunia are just something, you know, they're really, really good written characters. I mean, could they be written better? Yes. I mean, Danganronpa has some awesome characters and awesome story. But again, I wouldn't have experienced, I wouldn't have uh, found Danganronpa if I didn't discover Net Neptunia first. There's a lot of games that I've discovered like Mugen Souls and, and Danganronpa and uh, Conception 2, which I have all those games. I wouldn't have experienced that if it wasn't for Neptunia. If you would. So... You can handle anything next year. So that you know, that's that, that's kind of the reason why I love Neptunia because it basically reunited my passion for gaming again, and it's still my favorite franchise of all time, no doubt about it. And it always will be, unless they do something stupid. I mean, I am severely hyped for for Mega Dimension Neptunia Victory 2. And please, if you know. Uh, anything about the game? Don't tell me. I have been doing my best to try to avoid spoilers. I know they're all over the internet. So I beg of you, 
please don't tell me. I'll be very really disappointed. And plus, I'm planning on putting it on this channel, so can I blind play through? In my opinion, it's the best one. Because that's when you have all of the um, the best reactions. Like, I've already played in this game, in my opinion. I, I played through this because I was still uploading Rebirth 2. So, in my opinion, this isn't the best you played through out there. I mean, clearly not. But, you know, but it gives me time to sit back and talk with you guys, so. But that's my Neptunia story. The thing is, though, if you, if you were if you were if you play games a lot like I do, and because I'm going out now, my, my passion for gaming for games like even for the shooters and all that stuff has been reignited. Like I play everything now with an open mind, and every every single game, no matter how bad it is, deserves a chance to be played. And that's kind of where I like to do. And that's kind of where I live by now. Because there are a lot of games and a lot of people that I don't actually hate on it, but I play it anyway because I know because if you give it a chance, you may actually like it. A lot of the games that are, that are rated low on Metacritic or by or by gaming quote uh, putting quotation marks here critics, I love. So definitely look into that. Don't let don't let the critics judge what you like. Thank you, Nestia. I knew I could count on you. So, um, but anyway, that is my Neptunia story. So, and that's how I found it. So, basically, if you, the moral story is, if you have a wall that, 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 that you, that you, you know, losing your passion for something, well, they're, they're no longer spawning. Well, that sucks. But, <laughs> if you, um, if you lose, if you're losing your passion for something, um, just reach out and pull it, reach out for something that you would not never do. Like, say, like, if you're losing your passion for gaming, ex expand your horizons, is what I should say. Try something that you never would have thought that you liked before. And maybe you can reignite your passion again, like I did. And my passion, you can ask people, is overflowing with almost any type of, I mean, I guess I did almost over any game. Now, do I do put some games down? Yeah, but at the end of the day, I still I still play them. If you would. So let, let's finish up this. Uh, okay, there. I'll get more confident with each step. I know that sounded like a horrible story time telling. Not bad, but I could have done better. But My level level up. Up. That's my. Neptunia story. Now loading. Yay! The gear is almost complete. Neptune's in my dream is about to be realized. But the world won't stop spinning. Spinny, spinny, whirly, whirly. <laughs> round and round. <laughs> Girl, this ain't no time for you to have them birds chirping all around your head. Uh-oh, she's looking pretty sick. Big sister face on. Hey, Neptunia, are you okay? Yes, thank you for asking. I just got a little dizzy. I don't like seeing you do that to yourself, buddy. With how game industry is, I need you in tip-top shape. That's exactly why I need to do even more to help you. Please try to understand. Right back at you, little Miss Blue. I don't want to become famous if it means you end up barfing and stuff. If I was making myself sick, you'd be all, what the goodness, and tell me the same thing, right? <laughs> Neptune, you're right. I'm sorry. I'll hand over my dream of uniting game industry to you. I guess I've got to follow through and unite game industry. Sounds like a plot noir would cook up. All right, Aroni. It's time for me to put on my doting gloves and care for my little sister. I'll put some pudding in a pot and hold it over a fire or whatever. It'll help you get better quick. Um, so you're going to feed me boiled pudding? I don't think that will get rid of my nausea. <laughs> Neptune is not a nurse. Confirmed. <laughs> Get Compa. 
But, um... That'll be it for this episode, guys. And I, if you grew bored with my story, I apologize. But that... I probably could have explained it a whole lot better than what I did. Um... But, like I said, reach past... You know, reach out and, and go out and... Reach beyond your horizon, I should say. Ex expand your horizons. Because I guarantee you, if it wasn't for Neptunia, this channel would not exist. Well, actually, it did exist way before that. But I wouldn't have uploaded any videos. And I wouldn't have been this passionate about Neptunia like I am. I mean... Because people have noticed that I treat the Neptunia game seriously. I treat it with respect. Yes, because this is the game that basically reignited my passion for all the games that are out there. So... Next time, guys, um, I will not be going on any rants. <laughs> we will be doing the Valentina's Path and getting all... And, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not doing all of these, but um, we will be... Um, taking care of all of these quests here and uh, getting ready to take on Next Gen Mech once again. So until then, guys, I will uh, see you later.